Today, I'm going to show you how doing something like this for your life and for your ministry will make all the difference in whether or not you're successful or a failure. There are two types of people in the world. There are proactive people and there are reactive people. Reactive people let outside forces influence how they're going to behave. They're saying, I can't do that, or that's just the way I was born. I can't change that. I can't, I can't, I can't. However, a proactive person will take the bull by the horn and really lead into it and say, I know that this is a tough situation, but I'm gonna take initiatives and look at alternatives to figure out the solution to the problem. For instance, my girls and I decided to be very proactive this summer. We created this list. It's our summer checklist. We decided to say, what do we want to be about this summer? Rather than letting the summer dictate how we were going to act this summer, we said, what do we want to be about? What do we want to do? We want to go to Kingsvania. We want to go to a game, a beach, sleepover. We want to change the bathrooms. We want to go on do crafts. And not only that, but we also said, we want to be nice and use positive words. We want to pick up after ourselves. We decided to take a very proactive stance this summer. Again, what we could have done was we could have let the summer dictate what we would do. They, we could just kind of lollygag and say, oh, what are we going to do this summer? And just let the summer dictate things and each day dictate it. But what we have is we have this list now and I'm going to take this list, copy it, put it all over the house and say, girls, this is what we want to be about this summer as a way to remind them. And you can be very proactive too in both your life and your ministry. Here are just three things that I brainstormed of how you can be proactive rather than reactive. Number one, make a list. I just made a list right here. The girls and I just sat down at dinner and said, what do we want to be about this summer? So we made a list of things that we wanted to do, proactive things that we wanted to do. What can you be making a list of in your life and in your ministry of what you want to be doing? Number two, hey, set some goals. Take, it, take some time, instead of just making a list here, you could set some goals of what you want to do in your life. Do like one month goals, three month goals, six month goals, year goals, and continue to look at them and say, how am I doing at achieving my goals? And it keeps it fresh in your mind if you look at it every now and then to say, what am I doing and how am I going to achieve those goals? How am I being proactive in achieving those goals rather than just reactionary and just saying, oh, I'll just go wherever my life leads me. That's not going to get you really far, to be honest. And the third thing that you can do in your life and in your ministry to be proactive is to constantly be adjusting and evaluating. Why would you allow yourself just to let life happen and react to those situations rather than be constantly evaluating your life, constantly be evaluating your ministry and say, how am I doing? Does this line up with my goals or the things that I want to achieve in life? Is it go matching the list that I've set aside for myself? Constantly look at that and evaluate and say, how am I doing? What can I be doing better? Because I believe the more proactive we can be, the more effective we can be in our lives and our ministries. If we're allowing life in our ministry to dictate how we run things, we're never gonna be successful. We're never gonna hit our targets and we're never really gonna be as effective as we really can. So I wanna encourage you, be proactive this week. Figure out, take a minute and just think, what can you do this week to be proactive? So there you have it, three things that you can be doing to be becoming more proactive. But I'm kind of curious to see what you do to be proactive in your life and in your ministry. Share below in the comments section or share on social media with the hashtag YMPsychic. I'd love to hear what you're doing to be more proactive. Don't forget to check out YMPsychic.com. Remember, every Monday I got a new blog out. Every Tuesday I got a new video out. Da -da -da -da! And every Wednesday I got the podcast out. So stay up to date on that. Subscribe to this YouTube channel wherever it is. Check it out. I'd love for you to stay up to date on everything. Again, ymsidekick.com has all the information. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you next time.